been wearing uh, some stunning outfits from their collections. And every time I uh, wear any of their pieces is when I get the most amount of compliments. So yes, uh, it's really special uh, being here for them today. And uh, I think I'm really waiting for Diwali so that I can uh, wear more, more from their, uh, you know, from their line. Um, and I think this particular outfit for me was um, very, very special because it's the only, um, you know, black one from their line. I think specially created for uh, the showstopper. So yes, that really makes me feel very special. Um, and I think I had one of the best uh, times ever. Wearing Anushri Reddy, as you all are aware, and. Uh, uh, the creation is from her line called The Wedding Chronicles. And I just love the use of uh, flowers. It's very Portobello market meets, you know, the Mughal era with all her zardozi. So, uh, barring from the fact that every bride has to wear a heavy lehenga, and she kept up to that tradition, I just think it's, it's so feminine, so beautiful, and uh, it has this whole amalgam of modern meeting vintage. So I really love the piece and uh, let the designer speak for herself. Hi, so my collection is called The Wedding Chronicle. So basically being from Hyderabad, I uh, drawn inspiration from the Mughal era. So that, uh, you know, there used to be Zardosi originated from there. So taking that, I've sort of, uh, you know, built on it and come up with these motifs. And I've also used my signature floral prints, but in a bit more of a different color story this time. And the the entire collection basically revolves around like a very fun, a wedding, uh, the entire mood of a wedding, but a very fun wedding. So basically think destination wedding and we started at that and yeah, so the collection again took place on that. Uh, yeah, so I'm wearing Amor by Jail. Uh, I can just talk about my personal experience when, uh, whenever I pass their store, I always look at their display uh, pieces. <laughs> And uh, they look bridal so well, and I said, Abhi, both, I can't wear that now. Uh, but I'm really glad that they've created this new line, uh, which is uh, younger. They've actually traveled all over India, taking inspiration uh, from our heritage uh, uh, area places. And they've taken inspiration and put their own uh, modern spin on their new line. Uh, and it's really fun, young, comfortable uh, to wear. So thank you because I think now I can wear uh, jade more often. <laughs> so Amor is about the eternal wanderer. Um, with every uh, seeker, there is a sense of personal serenity and a sense of peace. And Monica and I have drawn, drawn from that this season. So the collection uh, has a has has a, an amalgamation of textures and culture and ethos, and the vibe is still very easy laid back carefully. by G this season. It is our new luxury prep line. So we've kept it very easy, free flowing, and I think Pooja is perfect for it. <laughs> Thank you, Pooja. Thank you. So we'll open the floor for some questions. Shilpa, what do you have to say about this beautiful outfit? I said. <laughs> <laughs> I think the best part about being a woman is to be able to dress up. And I, I absolutely adore the whole process. Um, it just makes me feel very, very feminine. And I said that before. So her entire line is very wearable. Um, I feel like getting married again. Obviously, <laughs> to the same person. <laughs> <laughs> the next controversy. <laughs> no, so. Um, yeah, I think it's such a special day, uh, the day you pick for your wedding. And what you wear on that day has to be really, really special because you can't change that. So you have to be sure about the outfit you pick up. I would definitely go for something like this. Yeah. Uh, thank you. It was fabulous. Um, I think they already made me feel so very special during uh, you know, the, sh the video shoot that we did for this uh, particular collection. It's uh, a first for them, and I love being a part of it, and I think just to carry that forward today um, was really, really nice. I did have a bit of, I mean, I, I think I had a bit of nerves uh, before getting on stage, but the minute I was there, I think I just felt like a princess, and that, that just, uh, I think for every girl, that's um, the, the most special moment. Where would you wear this? 
Um, you know, just like Shilpa sh said, I think uh, as girls, because all of us love dressing up, and thankfully there's no pressure of getting married, but yet you can wear these uh, outfits, you know, thanks to all of these occasions, right? Um, yeah. And yeah, Shilpa can wear this again. Um, we can all wear this again. You can wear it at your second wedding. You can wear it at your second wedding. At your second wedding. <laughs> dry fruits yeah there. exactly <laughs> so i have a travel pack right here so put some nuts into it uh, but yeah i mean they're very really comfortable clothes so when i'm traveling you know when you're traveling you want to be comfortable when you're uh, <laughs> pooja some nuts yeah. <laughs> you're not <nuts. laughs> they're all hungry now so yeah you know when you when you're traveling you want to look stylish uh, uh, yeah have wear this Do you like what is your fashion statement? Oh, like I said, uh, comfortable, cool, young, trendy. Yeah. What's the wardrobe staple? Sorry. Wardrobe staple. What's the wardrobe staple I have? Uh, like a jacket, probably, because I feel cold a lot. We say it to Prachi and Shilpa as well. Wardrobe staples. You, you, you go first. Um, I think for me it's a pair of ripped jeans. I think that's always really cool, and you can dress it up, dress it down. Um, and they're really comfortable. I I love that trend. <laughs> Nuts. <laughs> um, a white T-shirt. Yeah, you can wear it in the day, in the night, with ripped rib jeans. You can wear it with a you know a cool pair of pants. A meeting, anything. A meeting, right? yeah. Even to the office, works. Only when your son then puts some <laughs> mango ice cream on it. You're jacked. Yeah. 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 Pooja, do you uh, have a lot of jewelry in your house? Uh, <coughs> yeah, I do. In fact, the other thing I was thinking about is rings. I love rings. Like uh, that's one thing that I would invest in a lot. So I do have a lot of jewelry. Yeah. So what sort of jewelry? I mean, funky jewelry. What do you think? Oh uh, yes, funky jewelry and. Uh, at the same time, I think as South Indians, you know, we have this thing of jewelry, and we love jewelry. So <laughs> I have a lot of jewelry. She's Mangalorean, right? Like yeah, Mangalorean. Okay, <laughs> 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 that's it. Last question. Which you love? What does fashion mean to me? What does it mean to you? Which? What does it mean to you? <laughs> same thing. <laughs> it's just, I mean, um, fortunately or unfortunately, we're in a milieu where people. Uh, tend to copy us or we are put in a position where we could be trendsetters and people end up becoming trend followers. So there is also that added, uh, not responsibility, but headache that <laughs> <laughs> and pressure that every time you get out, you have to be impeccab impeccably dressed or at least well put together. So uh, for me, fashion at the end of it all uh, has to be trend setting. One, I'd rather be a trend setter than a trend follower. So I'm not one of those people who succumbs to uh, a style that is in season. 
I could I have clothes that are in my cupboard. My jeans are there in my cupboard. Fortunately, because I haven't put on weight um, for the last seven years. Oh man. Yeah. <gasps> so yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I have some even I had to throw them because there was no place in my cupboard. <laughs> I've had them for like 12, 15 years also. But then yeah, and they're all in fashion now. Those bell bots have come back. You know those wide leg jeans but um, so for me it has to be timeless whatever you wear should be timeless that's what fashion is about and um, yeah I think I've answered your question